Oh, I'm late. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom, Havarim and Mishpaha. Today's Monday. It is New Year's Eve. Um, hi. <laughs> hey, I just, uh, I wanted to connect with you guys. I, <clears throat> I've been talking to Abba about some things and, um, just about other ways that I can connect with you all, um, havar with you, because it's definitely important not just for you guys to stay connected, but it's important for me to stay connected as well. You know, the last few Shabbats, actually ever since, ever since, um, we had the fires here, <clears throat> I just, I have not been the same. So, you know, Elohim's been working with me on my health. And um, I have this constant, not cough. You know, it's really just hard to, to explain. <laughs> but I ran into this um, girl at the coffee shop yesterday. And she was kind of saying the same thing. We were in agreement that, you know, it's just, it's a trip that since the fires, it's hard to explain. It's not that you feel necessarily sick or that you're down and can't, you know, maneuver and <clears throat> through your life, but you, um, it's just a funny, I don't know, you just don't feel quite yourself. And so that's why the last few Shabbats, um, I think it's been like two now, I haven't done the Shabbat and chat and chill because I'm just, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I've literally been resting. I've canceled a couple of like family events. Um, I canceled them, but I just was like, I, I can't go. I have to, I have to rest. So I literally on Shabbat, I have been resting, literally resting on the day of rest. <laughs> not doing absolutely nothing, but tuning in to our live Havar with Alan and, um, I've been really having, you know, um, all of the encouraging word studies. I've been kind of going back from years ago and just having it on repeat and on my TV and falling asleep in front of the TV. It's actually been pretty great if I didn't feel like this. So yesterday, I finally had, I don't know, I don't want to say energy because it's not like I haven't been having energy. You know, I go to work every day. That's different. It's kind of like programming. But yesterday, I finally had, I guess, the umption in me to um, to go on a hike. You know, you guys know from my videos and just from me talking. And if you follow me on social media, I love nature. So hiking, um, even if it's just a little walk around the lake or at the beach, um, I love doing that. So I finally did that. I haven't done that in well over a month, but I did that yesterday and it was so nice. And sometimes, you know, Abba was reminding me, sometimes it's just a matter of just getting yourself up and getting out the house. And so I guess that's, is what, that's what this message is today for you all. When, you know, we have our part that we have to do as well. Of course, this life, it causes us to have so many different crazy things that we have to deal with. Um, but we can succumb to those things or we can just allow our heart to continuously be bendable and allow Abba to do what he does, which is give us the desire you know, this is what I was saying before. That's why every morning, you know, every day I ask Abba, make me over today. You know, make me over today. What is something that you can do for me today, Father, that yesterday I just, I, I didn't do or that I could have done or that I procrastinated on or that, you know, maybe the Ruach was talking to me, but I chose not to listen or I chose to, to sit still. And it could be something as small as that. You know, like I said, I... I was just like, oh, I just don't feel good, so I'm just going to sit here, <laughs> you know, but it took for me to to allow Abba to give me that desire. Just put your foot outside, you know, get outside, not for work, not to go grocery shopping, not to do any of those things. Just get outside and enjoy my creation, 
and just see how you feel. And I'm not going to say I'm 100%, but I definitely feel so much better. My muscles feel better. It's like it was a sigh of relief for everything within me. And that reminds me of um, going back to Yohanan, the Yohanan study. I think it's chapter um, <clears throat> 14, I believe, <laughs> where Yeshua is saying that, you know, um, he is the vine. You know, we know that Yahweh is the gardener. He plants the good seed. Thank you. Thank you, Elohim. And Yeshua is the vine. And we are the branches, you know. And he says, stick with me. Trust my love. Don't doubt my love. You know, if you don't doubt me, you'll stick with me. You'll stick to my vine and you'll, you'll flourish with good fruit. You know, Yeshua said, if you, and again, you know, you know, I'm good for paraphrasing. <laughs> Yeshua said, if you doubt my love and you don't stick with me, you want to go your own way. You don't want to listen to the Ruach. You're going to fall. Your branch will fall from my vine. And a branch that is disconnected from the vine cannot, cannot produce fruit. And that's just what it is. You know, um, going back to me um, these past few weeks, not saying that I, I wasn't connected, but if I just would have took that one step to, um, like I said, go outside, get my muscles working, trusting Abba, asking him, not only asking him, but trusting that every day he's going to renew me and make me over. And, um, <clears throat> and so anyway, so we'll see where he takes me from there. But yes, um, our life, Havar, stay connected with us. You know, I, I don't know much, if anything. But what I do know is that whenever we rely on our flesh and not on the strength of our mishpaha, our family, and our fellowship, we are slowly dying um, to ourselves. And it's not beneficial at all. And again, we talked about in the other video, anything is permissible. You can do anything you want, you know? You can tune in, you can't, you know? You could do anything you want and it's fine, but don't disconnect with the fellowship um, in the Ruach. Don't disconnect from Abba because then your fruit, there it will be dead. There's nothing, there's no fruit there. It's just a dead, it's just a dead branch. We wanna stay connected to Yeshua. And the best way that I know today that you can do that, that I can do that, is, you know, watching um, on, on, on the internet, <laughs> is watching videos that proclaim the name of our Father, that proclaim the name of Yahweh. Not just videos that proclaim the name, but where the author of the video the host of the video is walking, come on, is walking with, sorry about that, <laughs> is walking with, you know, Yahweh, is walking with Yeshua. Um, and where his audience is a hide in that walking. Now, I say that because there are many videos, believe me, when I was searching and answered that call, and when I first found out that his name was Yahweh and the son's name was Yeshua and the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, whatever, it was the Ruach HaKodesh, I searched and there were, there's tons of videos proclaiming that name. So they think, they think that they're proclaiming the name, but they're not walking in that name. They're not walking in the character of Yahweh, the character of Yeshua. And how do I know that? Because the fruit that they display on their channel or in their videos is dead. The fruit is gone. There's no fruit there. And how do we know that? Because the Ruach is not a hod. When you get that tiny still voice, which is the Ruach, which is Yahweh letting the Ruach show you or tell you this is not where you need to be. There's something wrong here. You know, we have to listen to that. I'm looking at my brain. It's all, it's like got a mind of its own. But we have to listen to that. And then you go in the comment section and you'll see that 
a lot of the commenters are just crazy. You know, <laughs> some people say Jesus, some people say God, some people, you know, and it's fine. Again, everything is permissible. I'm not saying that if you say those names that you're not bearing the fruit, but then they get upset. They get upset with you for speaking that name. Again, that's dead fruit. It's death, you know. Um, so you want to make sure that if you're online, which I know, what, 90% of us today, 2018, about to be 2019 tomorrow, that's what we do. We go online um, because to get our fellowship, to get our havar um, with others, because nowadays, like me, I live in Oakland. I can't think of anyone here that is a hod with the father like me or my son. There's nobody here that I've run across. So what do we do? We get online. We get that fellowship. The Ruach binds us all. He brings us all. He makes us one, as Yeshua said, that he wanted the Ruach to do. Make us a hod with him as he is a hod with the Father. And so that's what it is. So that's what you can do if you're online. If you're not online, make you and your household through the Ruach be a hod with the Father. You don't have to wait for the live Havar. You don't have to wait for one of my videos to get pitch your tent and get in there, you know, and do the work, not works, but the work of Abba Yahweh. Be about his business. Make your household about his business. So demons flee. They don't want to come in your house. They don't want to walk past your threshold because they know that Elohim is there. Abba, the father of your house and the house of your father, he resides in your house, your body your literal temple and your dwelling place where you lay your head every day, where your children lay their head every day, where your husband lays his head every day, where your wife lays her, lays her, lays her, lies her head every day. I keep saying lay lies. But those are one things, you know, study with your family, cook with them. There's so many ways that you can pitch your tent with Abba and stay connected you know, and believe and trust that Yeshua loves you. Don't doubt his love, as he said in Yohanan. Don't doubt it. That's how you stay connected to the vine. That's how you stay connected and you bear good fruit, you know, because the good seed is there. So I guess the, um, <laughs> the theme that's coming across here too is that we all have free will, you know, from Bereshit, from Genesis to Hazon, Revelation. It talks about what we can do. Don't believe these preachers and these fake churches, this churchianity crap that tells you you can't do nothing. You can do something. You have free will. People that have free will, you have a choice. There's work to be done. Yeah, there's work to be done. To stay, can you have to do your part to stay connected and pitch your tent with Abba? It's not about him doing it all. He wants to do it, but you have to show him and prove to him that you want to do the work too. And it's something as simple as getting up in the morning and asking him to renew you and thanking him for his mercies and his better ha for that day and giving you what you need that day to make yourself over, to get closer to him, to be more intimate with him. You know, if your children are asking you questions, are you showing them away? No. <laughs> That's not being connected. That's not being a hod. The Ruach would never tell you to do that. If your children have questions about the Father's word, embrace them. Let the children come. Embrace them. Yeah, I know that can be a big headache sometimes. <laughs> I know that can be an irritation, you know. <laughs> but still those are memories when you teach them those are memories that they never forget I mean listen y'all I grew up in a cult but some of my fondest memories are my mother sharing scriptures or sharing parables with me from the word she didn't know she was teaching me out of a, a false bible but I still remember those little nuggets. And that's why sometimes if I watch Head News videos or Alan's videos and I'll hear something, it'll, it'll trigger a memory. 
but that's because the Ruach was working in my mom to teach me, even as a little child, and it stuck with me. And even when I strayed, I came back to the, to the Father, to Abba, Yahweh. So stay connected to the vine, stay connected, so you can bear good fruit, and do not doubt Yeshua and, Yesh and Yahweh, Abba's love for you. Stay connected, one foot in front of the other. Walk outside, get some sun. Even if you just walk in your front yard, get some sun. I don't know where you live, is it raining? Go outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's raining I don't know put your hand out the window let the rain touch you and I'm being silly but yeah so one foot in front of the other um, Abba will help you he will lead you there's nothing that you can do or that you have to do to um, make yourself over 